Good morning guys, in today's video we are going to talk about the Bitcoin price of course. We're going to zoom out and use a beautiful chart to show you what is happening at the moment. Yes, we are also going to talk about the Lebanese pound now crashing tremendously. Also show you a chart how many times we crashed with more than 40% in 2018, 2019 and why we could crash this time again. No fear, please don't be in shock and show you how I convinced now the challenge in Copangan to start accepting Bitcoin. Enjoy this video. Good morning guys from this beautiful island Copangan. Let's jump into my office guys. Another beautiful day, a little bit cloudy, but that's perfect to record this video because then the sun is not shining on my head continuously yes guys it is sunday and even on sunday i'm recording videos today guys i'm going to try it again i'm going to try to make a shorter video because tonight at six o'clock i'm going to go live in this dutch slash belgium trading community call by trade.be um, just check the website or the facebook and you will find the link to the live we are doing tonight and it will be in dutch slash belgium I will try to talk a little bit with a Belgium accent, allez manneke, something like this. Uh, but so for all the Dutch followers and the Belgian followers or Dutch speaking followers all over the world, tonight at six o'clock Amsterdam time, I will be live in their community call. I hope you really enjoyed the family video at the challenge. Did you see how I crashed my balls and she smacked her face? Yes, but I hope you also saw that I asked them, can I pay with Bitcoin? Their answer on that day was no, because they didn't accept Bitcoin at the time, but we stayed in contact and they just messaged me that they will soon start to accept Bitcoin as an official payment for the Copangan challenge. Thank you, Copagan Challenge, for supporting crypto and the community. And thank you for having us over there at your beautiful place in Bantai on Copangan. Guys, I completely understand that you are a little bit confused now what is happening in the market. Are we going up? Are we going down? Um, even when I woke up this morning and one of my favorite sites to check the news is newsbtc.com. I saw the first four articles. One of these articles told me that Bitcoin was going up and the other three told me that Bitcoin was going down is happening in all the news sites because nobody exactly knows what is going to happen they just share the news with us and by sharing what they think or what traders think and they, they try to give with us a complete picture of what is happening in the market so if i need to make a judgment three out of the four articles on newsbtc.com say we are going down one article is saying we are going up in my opinion when the herd and most of the people say ah oh, we are going down bitcoin will go up so let's hope that these four articles are the true indicator of Bitcoin going up in the next couple of weeks. When it comes to the price, not many things change, guys. The bear is still telling us we are going to go to 6K. The bulls are still telling us we are going to go to 11K. We are at 9,400, like I showed you in last, yesterday's video and the video with the day before. We are still holding the upward trend lines of the weekly and the daily. In my opinion, some traders say we broke the daily uh, upward trend line, but that this just depends on how you draw the lines. In my opinion, we are still holding strong and we are still in this triangle that will have a next upward movement to test this 10K on the daily or the 10.5K on the weekly again. But let's see, you know, it's Sunday. Let's enjoy this Sunday um, with other things than just crypto. But to be clear, every Sunday, there is some kind of a strange movement, mostly in the evening, in Bitcoin. So maybe this evening, again, we will see the strange movement in Bitcoin as well. As you are already used to my videos, guys, hopefully you're used. That means you've been watching a lot of them. Um, I always like to zoom out in crypto. So I always look at the monthly charts. And I now found this beautiful monthly chart made by Parabolic Tees. I think his Twitter handle is at King Tees. He shared on Twitter this beautiful chart um, of the CMF and the stock RSI and he told us in this chart, you can read it here in the chart, what he thinks of the market. CMF guys stands for Chaikin Money Flow, so this is the inflow into the market um, of Bitcoin at the moment. He noticed that smart money is probably now coming slowly into the market as you can see the CMF nearing zero. and 
every time we near zero it gets exciting because if we go above zero in a CMF this is a very bullish sign um, and this shows that a lot of smart money is going into the market and probably this money will go into market they call it smart money because they see an uptrend and they think they can make a beautiful return on investment please be aware this is a monthly chart guys yes we are looking at a monthly chart so it will take some time all to play out and um, but I love to look at these monthly charts because these give me the huge swings of buying in the dip and selling on the top we can also see on the same chart guys that the stock RSI is now crossing up bullish to the upside which is a beautiful I saw a very beautiful small bird sorry I couldn't film it but this stock RSI is going up as well we are nearing the level of 50 in an uptrend movement so if we are able to cross the line of 50 with the stock RSI this means we are having a lot of bullish momentum this means that we could continue this monthly trend now of upwards movement of bitcoins and slowly will be going into this huge bull run maybe a two year long bull run we will see but this monthly chart is very clear of course because it's a monthly chart yes we can go sideways for the next couple of days maybe even weeks these also said guys be aware there's a limit amount of time that we are able to buy Bitcoin below 10k I agree with these when we will cross this 10k 10.5k level I don't think there will be a lot of moments in the next one and a half year that we can buy Bitcoin below this amount but who knows maybe in the far future we can fall back below 10k again but then again guys it would take this bull run because then in two years time guys you can just enjoy life of, of the profits you made with this beautiful Bruin. I think they just broke down some houses because they are burning um, all the wood now in the morning here. Also good to get rid of all the mosquitoes. Check it. That is a very positive indicator for Thai uh, tourism because if you see these guys burning uh, the bamboo style huts, they, uh, they are probably replacing them with concrete huts. So yes, tourism was growing expansionally the last couple of years in Thailand. But now, since this COVID, okay, we are like bottoming out, really. So these guys take the time to clean all the trash houses and clean all the bamboo huts and start to build beautiful concrete huts for the time that the tourism will be in the uptrend again and that people will come to Thailand. Then they very smartly took this bearish time to build new beautiful bungalows for the future. This is the same what happened in the bearish time in Bitcoin, in this bearish time, all these blockchain companies took the time to start to build beautiful projects and not look at the price but just build 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 or should I say biddle 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 I'm still bullish on this beautiful Sunday I am still looking up and um, I will keep looking up uh, till the moment we really break uh, the support of like 9k then maybe I could see us falling back to 8k or even 7k but then again guys when you manage your portfolio in a smart way you are always prepared to have some US dollar teeter die or pax or whatever stable currency you prefer to buy some more bitcoins because if we look at the past and I want to be very clear I am personally bullish many people are also bearish many people say and also the chart are showing us guys that we can have crashes in Bitcoin and we had crashes for many times in the past just check this chart you know you can see all these huge crashes in bitcoins in the last couple of years guys yes a 40 percent crash has happened many times i think in 2018 guys we saw three times a huge crash that was bigger than 40 percent in 2019 till now I think we saw two huge crashes one was around like 38 percent and the other one was like 63 percent sorry that the music is so disturbing guys love music i love music so if it is not too disturbing i will use this clip and else i will use another one that i record a little bit more back and closer to my house and as you can hear we don't have the best audio system here a little bit cracky i think my audio system in my house is even better than this one also guys if you look at the macroeconomics yes these are also bullish if it got for bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies why just see what now happened in lebanon in lebanon guys we saw the biggest crash of the lebanese pound of the last few decades this lebanese pound 
might sound a little bit like exotic to you or like um, like volatile to you but this is a currency that has been very stable for the last few decades guys in the last few decades guys the Lebanese people were able to buy one dollar with about 1500 Lebanese pounds now in the start of this week the Lebanese pound crashed so now they needed to pay 4,000 Lebanese pounds to buy one dollar now in the end of the week yeah we are talking about seven days they need to pay 7,000 Lebanese pounds to buy one US dollar this is a huge crash this means that when people used to have 10,000 Lebanese pounds they had about 6.6 .6 dollars and today the same 10,000 Lebanese pounds like a week later that's only 1.4 dollars question I ask myself does this influence the normal people because these normal people still have 10,000 um, Lebanese pounds and probably the milk and the bread and all the other groceries will still cost the same amount of Lebanese pounds they have always been paying so for an average person they just still have 10,000 Lebanese pounds and they can still buy the same amount of bread or milk or whatever for it so why why are we always talking about these prices why is this such a big of influence I agree that this doesn't influence the normal people at the beginning on a daily basis. But if, if we zoom out to the situation and you look to the larger scale, then you can understand that if these need to import from out, outside of Lebanon, they now lose a lot of buying power because if they want to import the same articles they were importing into Lebanon um, before the crash, they need to pay now almost six times more for these articles in Lebanese dollars. Because let's say they wanted to import Coca-Cola. So if they wanted to import one bottle of Coca-Cola, they normally used to pay 1,500 Lebanese dollars. If they want to import now the same bottle of Coca-Cola today, they need to pay 7,000 Lebanese dollars. So if these huge companies run out of their stocks at the moment, and they need to fill up their stocks for the future, they need to pay more for these bottles of Coca-Cola. And if these huge companies that are distributing this Coca-Cola to their um, normal people need to pay more to buy the Coca-Cola, they need to sell this Coca-Cola for higher prices. And at the end, this customer that buys the Coca-Cola bottle in the supermarket now needs to pay more Lebanese dollar to get this bottle but his capital stayed the same. He still has this 10,000 Lebanese dollars. And now he needs to use a bigger part of this capital to buy this bottle of Coca-Cola. I hope I simplified why this Lebanese pound crash, if you compare it to the US dollar, can have a tremendous influence in the next couple of weeks, months, for the normal people as well, not only for the large institutions or central organizations or bigger companies in Lebanon. That was the video for today's guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click this notification bell so you will be notified on every new video I make. And please remember guys to zoom out in crypto, to zoom in in life. Enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living. Enjoy your Sunday and see you tomorrow again. Bye.